Yeah, Hollywood, Tennessee. Hollywood AC. It's the show, man. Watch it. It's Hollywood in the big M town. How AC do it, man. Ten toes down. The show is on, so watch me now. Sit back and relax and turn up the dial. It's Hollywood in the big M town. How AC do it, man. Ten toes down. The show is on, so watch me now. Sit back and relax and turn up the dial. Check out how he do it. AC cool, no sweat. So you uh, writing this book, this particular book, mm -hmm. uh, and and just you know, it's, you done brought it to the to the big lights and everything. It's a movie now. Uh, so basically, would you say you wrote uh, this book about experience or just some of the things, corrupt things you saw? Well, what happened was the true story of the Sagal effect is my ex husband was just doing awful things. Okay. On, 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 at that time, it was MySpace. Right, MySpace. Right. It was MySpace, mm -hmm. and uh, he would send pictures of his self naked to women, and okay. and then uh, I had the picture phone. He didn't have the picture phone, so he would use my phone to take the pictures. Wow! And neglect to delete the picture, and then my son, nine at the time, wanted mm -hmm. to use my phone, play a game, and he pick up the phone. And, Mama, what is this? And mm -hmm. they go picture his penis in my phone. Wow. You know, so it, it started there and then it just escalated. So okay. then when I we separated, then divorced, it was still a lot of hate and hurt mm -hmm. inside of me. I didn't know what to do with it. So then there's the there's a flip side of the sale effect. I, it starts off real crazy. But at mm -hmm. the end of every movie, I give it back to God. I tell okay. people at the end of this, if you pray, if you talk to the Lord, he'll release it. And he right, told right. me to release it in the book. and But in the book, I had to give all of me. I had to tell people who I was, how I came up in North Memphis. I, I've i dated the dope boys. That's all I dated. Um, just I had no father. Just mm -hmm. the, the, all of the intimate side, the secret side right, of me. Right. I gave it because the Lord said, if you release it now, you won't come under attack later. Right. People right. will come and say, "Oh, she ain't this. She did this, and she did that." It's okay, cause I told right. it before you told it. Right. Right. So you you beat can't come to the at me Right. Right. Cause you ain't got nothing to tell, cause I told it. Right. Right. So uh, I, I I I gave the story. This the book has been on the shelf for two years. Okay. God said you reach so many people by by literature, but a lot of people don't want to read. It. You know, it's too long. They'll pick it up. They'll put it down. Mm -hmm. So he said, what you're going to come back and do is now you're going to go uh, to the screen. You put okay. it on the big screen. So okay. the way that the movie comes on, we off the chain. Okay. We off the chain in every scene. Right. Yeah. Okay. But okay. at the end of it, maybe the last few scenes in there, we take it back to God. Okay. And okay. just say that if you conduct yourself in this way, mm -hmm. then you want to experience a cellular effect. And the cellular effect is... Anything that alters your behavior. Wow. Because of the cell phone. Okay. Right? Okay. If I walk in the house and you're so my husband and I, I walk in the house and you say, oh, let me call you back. That See, too. now my, my, I'm spinning and I'm wondering why he just hang up his phone. And now yeah. you're doing it every time I come in the room. You don't want to mm -hmm. talk on the phone when I'm in the room for some reason. Yeah. So now I'm thinking you're cheating. Now right, I'm checking right. behind you and. And, and calling your phone, call numbers back, and just all kind of stuff, you know. And, and, and that right there will lead to something else. Right, But right. a lot of times now, maybe 65% in Shelby County, mm -hmm. and it's documented because I have the affidavits. Mm -hmm. People, you, you see somebody got to fight, and you see it on the news. If you go and pull the affidavit up, it'll say, well, she asked because she see my cell phone. Or he asked who I was texting. <laughs> and, wow. You know, if you go all the way back yeah. to the, how the argument started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hit her or she hit you. But why did it start? Mm -hmm. Why? Because y'all asked for each other's cell phone. Mm -hmm. I asked her who she was texting and she, didn't, she wouldn't tell me, so I hit her. 
Wow, that's deep. You know, so you know when they get arrested, yeah. they have to go back there and be interviewed. Right, right. So the whole story mm. is in the affidavit. Well, I didn't know that and don't plan to find out about that, but um, right. I'm, I'm, right, <laughs> thank right. you for sharing but I that just, with me. But <laughs> I just started pulling it. What I would right. do is look at the arrest records for right. anybody who said uh, uh, domestic assault, domestic mm -hmm. violence or, or whatever. I began to look up because it's public record. Right, right. I began yeah. to look at the arrest record and go and pull the affidavit from their site and just read it. And when I cast uh, the members of the sale effect, I, 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 we had a conversation and I, sh I shared maybe four or five uh, affidavits with them and told them, you, do you see what I'm talking about? If one affidavit says that we got to fight about the cell phone, it's a problem. Mm. But I, had, I have multiple, I have over a hundred I went to uh, TV One and told them that, you I mean, you're doing all these crazy uh, shows and you got all these reality housewife shows. Let me tell you something to where we can help. Dr. Phil asked me to come on his show. He refused to let me come on the show unless I bring my ex-husband. But we're not talking about wow. what the problem is back then. I'm talking, telling, trying to tell you I got the resolution. You mm -hmm. know, Dr. Phil didn't want to hear the resolution. Right. He wanted to provide me with the resolution. I don't need you to tell me nothing about God. I got that one. Right, right, right. So, but but they're in the business of of putting right, your right. dirty laundry out there and making it seem like they the one who helped you. You help me, Lord, help me. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the movie comes out in September. Mm -hmm. uh, what can we expect? You can expect people want to see the part two and the part three and, <laughs> and, and what I'm what we're going to do I'm mm -hmm. I have different distribution companies that want to buy it okay right? and it, wow it, there are hundreds of distribution I think I got it narrowed down to six or seven and wow. my production okay. team is going to leave uh out this weekend and, okay. and talk to some 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 heavy hitters for me uh that's we're putting together a movie trailer now so we can okay. come on out with that Okay. Because mm -hmm. the investors and distribution companies, they want to see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And well we got about way. seven scenes left to do, and we're done. Okay. Uh -huh. So will this be the? You said you've you've written how many books? Uh, Is it eight? Eight. Eight books. Mm -hmm. Is this your first one you're taking to the stream? Is first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay. the the other the other seven are piggyback like like you said the sale effect is a, it's a it's a wide topic you can mm -hmm. so within there i tell seven other stories okay to give you the sale effect okay. i tell you what happened when i became in, envious of my husband i tell you what happened when i became greedy you see uh, and, and 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 when i speak of greed i speak of another woman's husband I felt like I was deserving of what my husband had done to me because I had cheated with another woman's husband. Okay. So th that was greedy of me. I, I had no right to put my hand on another woman's husband. And that there's so many messages I'm trying to tell people, you know, karma don't wait anymore. Mm -hmm. You do something today, you might feel it tomorrow. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Now, are you playing uh, a part in this movie? Are you... Do you have a part I, in it? I play just as a guest the speaker. Just, you know, they told me, you know, when you do something, just plug yourself in there somewhere. Yeah. I don't care if it's the person who buying something out the store. Yeah, just, a little cameo just, appearance. Just give yourself a little cameo. So I gave myself a cameo. I, I okay. wanted my, my cast to have everything. Well, that, that's, I think you'll really do great in this business as long as you have the heart that you have. And you know that God, you know, is the source mm -hmm. behind everything, successful thing that you can do. And you put your team first yes and i think that's a, a good um uh, combination um and you'll go far Thank if you, you. Just, just keep doing what you're doing uh, i can't wait to see the movie mm -hmm. uh, bring people i'm just you. i'm just i'm just you know excited i'm just i'm talking to you about the movie i'm excited i can't wait i'm i'm really looking forward to checking it out um uh, and we're going to hear more from you i know of course, because you were telling you, you spoke well, about Well, they it. tried to get us to take it out of here. That was another thing. They tried to get me to go to Atlanta. Okay. They tried to get me to go to Virginia Beach. Because okay. the thing is, it's quicker to get funding to do your movie mm -hmm. in other states. It's, uh, it's, it's hard 
right. in Tennessee. So it took me a while, and I just had to come up with the. And that's another. Sh- that's another show all all, all in itself. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> we could we could touch the old oh, that is, uh, we, you know. Um, but I'm so glad that uh, you stopped by, and uh, thank you for having me. And uh, we're gonna uh, wait to check you out and uh, and uh, support you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Ross. Okay. I appreciate it. Welcome to the show, Miss Beard. Thank you. Uh, now, tell me, how long have you been acting? This is my first show. Really? My first movie. Okay, okay. I came to be an extra. Wow, okay. And I guess someone didn't show up, so she asked me would I play this guy named Michael's wife. Okay. And I was happy to do it. Okay. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, very excited, very excited. Okay, up until this point, uh, no plays or anything of that nature? No, at church. You know, okay. Easter speeches, because my mom was over the Easter program, she oh, gave yeah. us the longest speech, so right, right. I, I wasn't afraid. I was um, I was just excited okay. to get a chance, because I feel like it's a blessing, because um, sometimes it just takes one chance to make things happen. Right, right. You know, so uh, I'm very grateful for that. Okay. And your character? A Sharita. Sharita, okay. She is a very hardworking lady, uh, married mm-hmm. to this guy named Michael. Okay. Um, he's, he's younger than she, she is. Okay. Uh, don't want to work. Wow. Um, go through my phone at night when I'm asleep because I have to get up very early for work. And um, just, just really a deadbeat. Wow. And I was just to okay. the point I was getting sick of it because I was tired of working and being the head of my house. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, first of all, are you, are you from Memphis? Yes, born okay. and raised. Born and raised here. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, since you've done this movie, and you're all in the process of still wrapping it up, uh, are you going to pursue your career? Yes, as in I want acting? to pursue it, yes. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it? Yes. <laughs> so you got the bug, yeah, you know, you yeah. got bit, you know. Like, I'm glad she get, Latrice gave me a chance uh-huh. to be a part of it. Okay. Um, my friend Darren, uh, he was already in the movie, mm-hmm. and I came to the. He he the one told me about being an extra. Okay. Um, and the first. Extra, it's good to have friends, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Facebook friends. Yeah. That was a Facebook friend. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the social media, I feel like, as far as Facebook, mm-hmm. it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. It's just right. what you stand for. Okay. And what you allow on your page, because you can always unfriend somebody that is very derogatory, uh, come off very aggressive. Mm-hmm. And that's what I do. I haven't been on Facebook long. I just started November of last year. Okay. So um, I have some cool friends that I've, I've met. And I think things have really worked, worked out for me on Facebook. Okay. And this is one of them. I'm very grateful and honored that I got a chance to be in this movie. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Um, you doing this movie? How has it changed you? It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. It hasn't. Me. Okay. No, because uh, Darren was telling me, you know, about the red carpet and we're gonna have this. I'm like, we are. <laughs> oh, we are. You know, I'm very excited. I hope we touch people's lives that need to be touched, okay. because, like the um, author of the book said, uh, a lot of people's getting hurt because of the cell phones. A lot of marriages are, have been broken up because of it. And I feel like if I ever get married again, I would definitely get off of it because um, I want my husband to be able to trust me. And it, you got a lot of people out there coming at you. 
Right, right. If you're a weak person, it can really damage you. Right, right. Most definitely. um, It's something I feel like for single people, Mm -hmm. you know, that you, and if you you can handle it, that's cool because they're going to inbox you. And right, they're right. gonna keep trying to get at you. Right, right. So I mean, it's up to you to have that strong spirit. Right, right. To not make things happen. Right, you know. Right. So it's up to the individual. Okay. What can we expect from your character? Um, Without you, you know, giving man, anything away. I, I like. I'm glad where I am because it was like a free spirit part. Mm-hmm. I don't uh-huh. have to learn anything right off the back. She gave me the opportunity to really be myself. Okay. Because it was very quickly that I had to, you know, show up, but. Um, I had fun. Okay. I mean, okay. the lighting and just to be with with the cast and to learn different things, you know. But I hope that she keep me aboard okay. so that I can study a part and that I can be someone in her movie and that she can believe in me to do what she needs to do so she can make that money, as she keeps saying. You know? <laughs> well, you, I, all of you all make some money. You, you know? know, I mean, and I just want to be able to touch somebody's heart. Okay. Uh, to be there for that person because this part really fits me to the other most because I am okay. a hard working woman. I'm going through some things now, but I mean that part fits me perfect. Okay. You okay. Know, so I could really express myself as being Sharita. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you know, I wish you the best. Thank you. Uh, with this movie and movies to come. Thank you. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I'm looking forward to seeing the movie and seeing your character. Good. Bring a whole bus crew. Whole bus crew. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Ms. Thank you. Mar- Marquita. Marquita. How yes. you doing? I'm doing fine. Now, let me ask you this. Off the bat, uh, first of all, where are you from? I'm from Memphis. You're from Memphis. Yes. Uh, born, and, born and bred? Born and raised. Born and raised here. Yes. Okay. Now, you in this lineup of awesome people in this uh, salient effect. Yes. Um, how'd you come about uh, getting this part? Actually, Letitia and I connected on Facebook, wow. social media. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and it has been an awesome journey just being her sister from this point. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, your character? I'm Marilyn. Okay. I play this jealous crazy wife wow yes yes okay okay my husband keeps me going so my part i'm just hoping to touch a lot of women in a way where they can see themselves through me and maybe change you know and see that life isn't so much about fighting your husband over every little thing Mm -hmm. with these phones you know and just the craziness that marriages go through okay Hopefully, I can touch somebody in a major, major way. Okay. Now, is this your first movie? Yes, yes. Okay. Everybody's first movie. Wow. Okay. Yes, uh, any, any plays? Oh, God. Before this? A lot of plays? Yes. Okay. Uh, I grew up in church, so. Okay. That was my thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, do you plan to pursue uh, acting or more plays or anything in your future? I do, I do. It's something I have been pursuing really all my life. Really? Okay. Yes, modeling, acting, those have been just things that I've always dreamed of as a little girl. So this okay. is a very blessed opportunity for me. I'm I'm glad to know Letitia. Okay, okay. So much. <laughs> <laughs> did y'all audition for the did you audition for this part? Actually no, I was hand picked. Wow. That's the greatest see, blessing. See, that's a blessing. Yes. Hand picked. Yes. That's the greatest blessing. Yeah, that, that's the greatest. That's a great blessing to be handpicked. So, what can we expect uh, from you in the future? Hopefully, you can expect to see me on the camera a lot and on the screen a lot, a okay. lot. So, you know, I'm just praying that this journey takes me to a, another level mm-hmm. and a better level. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, this this has been your first movie. Uh, I know you're excited. I am. I am. And um, ready to uh, 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 get this out so people can see you. Send a message. And send this message. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you this. Your family, have you had support from your family by doing this? I have. This? I have. They're so excited. All yeah. of us are. Okay. Everybody's excited because, like I said, the cellular effect is a movement, mm-hmm. you know, and it's right, a message right. in this movie that it is it's a message that everybody needs to see and that everybody in every home can relate, you know. So 
I think it's a great big deal. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to seeing your character. Thank you. Uh, thank the you. angry person in, yes. the, in this movie. <laughs> yes, lunatic. <laughs> lunatic in this movie. So yes. I'm looking forward to seeing your character. And I wish you the best in your thank future. You. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming out. Thank and, you for uh, having me. on the show. Yes. All right. Darren, how's it going? Oh, everything's fine, man. Right. Welcome going? to the show. Thank you. I'm doing just great. Uh, first of all, where are you from, man? Uh, I'm Somerville, Tennessee, man. Born and raised in Memphis, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Now, is this your first movie? Well, I was, I've done extra stuff, like on Hustling Flow, uh, Black okay. Snake Moan, stuff like that. Okay, But wow. just in the background, way in the background. <laughs> Either way? Yeah, way in the background. So, way in the background? Right. But you were there? I was there. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, so, how does it make you feel that you're actually a uh, character? You got a role, you got a character that you're playing in this movie. I, I feel blessed, man, that she, you know, took a chance on me. You know, okay. it could have been okay. anybody else. And right. she decided to give me a chance. So I feel blessed, you know, because a lot of people don't get this opportunity to do this. Right, so right. It's a good thing. Okay. So your character, without just giving too much away, uh, what can, you know, what kind of character are you playing? I put it like this here. I'm one of them them dogs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm one of them dogs, and I'm a, I'm a mean dog. Okay. I put it that way. So, you know, sometimes dogs get bit back. Just right, put it that right. way. Okay, okay. And did not to go too far into it, but uh, I play Benjamin Diggs. And, okay. Uh, I'm married to Keisha, and Keisha's friend with, with uh, uh, Marilyn. Okay. And, and I'm friends with Marcus. Okay. So if you can kind of put things together, you know, things can kind of get haywire. Right, you know right, saying? right. When people don't right. want to cooperate with each other. So right. So it's a type of, type of relationship. You okay. Know? We're not one big happy family. Just put it that way. Okay, okay. So how long have you been uh, acting? Uh, acting as far as a, a lead role, this is my first lead role. Okay, okay. And uh, for as extras, I, I done been on a lot of stuff. Okay. You know, mostly, I started mostly in the music field. I used to okay. be a uh, dancer for K97. Back in the day, uh, you remember the show Dance Time? Right, right. Yeah, I used to be on Dance Time. Now you went with Southside. Uh, no, oh, uh, the Junior Sex Symbols. You ever heard of them? Jazz yeah, and Fade, the Funkaholics. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was around that Larry okay. Springfield. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, okay. So I was around that area. Oh, so you've been around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm, okay. You know, just hanging out, doing stuff with them. Okay, now you're doing something that uh, you've been wanting to do. Yeah, you know, I, I put it like this here. Uh, I talked to Letitia once, and I told her, you know. I say, I, I pursued mu music all my life. Mm -hmm. I said, well, maybe God trying to push me in another direction because the music right. thing wasn't going the way it's supposed to go. Right, right. So I'm going to follow this lead and, and, and run with it. Okay, yeah. okay. So what can uh, we expect uh, from you in the near future, man? Hopefully you see me on some uh, cornflake boxes or something. <laughs> you, know, <too. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, I'm, right. I'm hoping it gets big, you know. Yeah, okay. But, uh, okay. yeah, we're, we're, we're expecting a big turnout uh, at the Paradiso. And uh, we want people to come out and support us because, uh, you know, Letitia, she's a great person, man. She deserves it. Okay. So, okay. Well, you guys deserve it, you know. Uh, anytime I see uh, uh, people putting together uh, movies and plays and things of that nature, I, I just, me and the SC group, we love support it. So, right. you know, you guys deserve it, your hard work. Uh, I know it's going to be a, a great movie. Uh, from what I've heard other folk talk about the book and uh, – uh, me reading uh, briefly what, a, year, a year or so ago on the book, right. I can just only imagine how the movie's going to be. So uh, you, uh, you're going to want to watch it more than one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make <laughs> that more, I can tell you. I had to go buy. Hey, you know. I, I'll just say like this here: get your popcorn and drinks early. Yeah, because you're <laughs> not going to be able right. to get up. All right. You're not going to be able to move. I mean, it's just that intense. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to it. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, man, for coming out once again, and uh, appreciate it, and I uh, wish you all the success. Appreciate in it, the future, man. All right. Thank all right. you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Harris, how you doing? I'm good, Hollywood. AC, how are you? All right, all right. Good. Now, you told me that you're going to be doing some big things yeah. last time I talked to you. Exactly. And here you are now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in the cast <laughs> of a movie, um, Cellular uh, um, Effect. The Cellular Effect. The Cellular exactly. Effect. And mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, it's uh, exciting. I, you were just here, you were just here, and we did a, a play that yep. you was involved in. We did the Man Store last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And this year, hey. And this year, we're doing mm -hmm. the Cellular Effect. Wow. Comes out September 18, 2014. Yeah. At um, Paradiso, Paradiso Paradiso. Theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're ready. I said, you working? I am working. <laughs> <laughs> You're working. working. Truly blessed. Truly yeah. blessed. Oh uh, wow. Yeah. 
you know, I can't interview like I interviewed the others because I mean, you, you know, we got a little history. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, uh, exactly. Your your character. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about you a little bit. A little bit about your character. Okay, I can't tell you much. Right, um, I want to give it away. Don't want to give it away. I uh, Sharon is a very religious woman. Okay, but she's at you know the most the modern uh, okay. religious woman. Okay, and okay. Um, she's not married. Okay, uh, but she has a friend who's married. Okay, and she's really good close friends with her. Um, friend Keisha okay. and Keisha has a husband who's all over the social media website okay. he's all over the faxing and the sexting and all that and um, she's just going to do whatever she has to do to help a girlfriend out okay okay yeah. sounds very interesting yeah it's pretty interesting yeah, you always get in these roles where it's just good roles yeah. I know this one is juicy yeah um, so did you did you pick this role did you pursue this uh, particular role well um, I reached out to Letitia a okay. couple of months ago. Actually, we started just last year. Okay. Um, little bumps and bruises along the way. We're finally getting ready to wrap it up. Okay. And so I reached out to her, and we just had a conversation. And she said, I know exactly what part I want you to play. Okay. okay. And um, The challenge speaks for itself. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's going to be a pretty interesting film. It's got a lot of different twists and turns, a lot of mystery, okay. uh, a lot of cheating. Wow. Okay. Which, you know, social media is out there, and we are, some people are just losing their mind. Right, right. The, um, the whole uh, thing of marriage has gone out the window. Right, right. And people right. out there just Facebooking each other and sending all types of, uh, graphic images of their right. body parts to other women who are not their wives and you know it's just really really a big mess yeah most definitely so hopefully with this film we will reach out to some people maybe mm -hmm. not all but some and let them know you know what look you have a significant of, of a, at home right they love you mm -hmm. they're taking care of your house they're taking care of your kids you really don't need to be out there right, with right. this other person right. who doesn't have any value. Right. So right. it's a cellular effect. Okay. Okay. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loving it. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait yeah. uh, to check this out. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait. Um, yeah. Your character, uh, was it hard for you to get into role with that character? Mm. It is... A little challenging because mm -hmm. uh, Sharon is passionate. Okay. She's really passionate. She understands the word. Mm -hmm. um, she has been married before, so she's been hurt, you know, with her previous marriage. Okay. And she has a girlfriend now who is being treated the same way that she was treated. Okay. Okay. And she's really passionate about it, and she's going to support her girlfriend the best way she can. Okay. Okay. Um, She's a ride or die chick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. all I can really tell you about her. She's 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 going for what she knows. Okay. Okay. Um, she's actually reliving her failed marriage through her girlfriend. Wow, that's deep. So um, there's some things that Sharon. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. She'll love you to death. Once again, I'm excited for you. Uh, Thank I you. I wish you must must much success thank you in the future and uh, keep doing what you're doing thank you and um uh, i'm looking forward to seeing great things from okay. you okay i know you got some things yep. you're working on got some more things so anytime feel free to come by i will and uh let us know what you're doing i will and i want to thank you from all the c team the cellular effect team for letting us come out here and promote our new film and um i haven't told Letitia this yet but hopefully you will always be someone that we think about when we're promoting those next eight films that she's going to be producing in the next few years. Well, we thank you, the SE Group. We thank you. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate uh, you guys coming to us. Okay. Thank you so much. No welcome. Right. It's good seeing you again. You too. All right. All right. Chartaya. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. All right, all right. Uh, big role. Right. Big movie. Right. Uh, how do you feel? I'm just asking you just off the top. How do you feel uh, at this moment? Very enthusiastic and excited about this. Okay, okay. Is this your first movie? Yes, it actually is. Okay. Uh, any play acting or anything like that uh, um, before this? Before I met Letitia, uh, 
I'll say I was mainly more of a choreographer. So, okay. You know, okay. this is like my first acting role. Okay, so but big transition. Yeah, huge transition. <laughs> okay, your role. Just give me a little, little something on it. That well, I play the role of Michael. Okay. You know, he's the a husband. A, yeah, a husband. Okay. He's a young, manipulative, you know, guy who's based off a lot of emotions okay. due to exposure you know, humiliation okay. and things of that nature. You know, he's just young and naive, basically. Okay, okay. Now, you getting mentally prepared for this role, did it take a lot? Uh, it really didn't take a lot because okay. me, myself, um, to be as young as I am, I've experienced a lot of sale effects, you know. Okay, okay. And I have a lot going on with social media, drama, and things like that. And I witness it, like, on a day-to-day -day basis because I live here in Memphis, in South Memphis, exactly. South Side. Um, so I experienced a lot of things. So okay. this movie is actually, you know, just me reenacting the things I live every day. Okay, okay. Uh, you plan on acting uh, other movies or just this first time thing and that's, that's going to be it? What do you think? Uh, no, this is my last time. <laughs> okay, okay. This so you got, the, you got that bug. You, you want to do a little more? Yeah, I got to yeah. do a little more. Okay. You know, I got to okay. be seen. I, I mean, I have a thousand personalities that are just dying to get out. Okay, okay. Do you write or anything no, in that nature? I will okay. not. You would not? <laughs> you said I die, I will not. <laughs> I don't have the patience. You don't have the patience? No. Okay. Um, so, uh, your character, is it, you say you have a lot of personality. Yeah. Is it similar to one of your characters? My character is um, similar to, I'll say, uh, young guys, you know, who yeah. are, I would say, in the closet and naive about who they are. Okay, okay. I mean, I would talk to Tisha on a day-to-day -day basis, and every okay. time she talked to me, it was something about me going through my significant other's phone, you know, I'm finding things, we're fighting, we're arguing, and half of those affidavits she's read belong to me, so. Wow. You know. <laughs> Wow. Kinda, okay. You know, that's so it, how I got chose. So it made it easy for you to, uh, you know, play your role and, and right. actually to relate to this movie. I was able to open up and just be Chartaya. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds great. Now, what can we expect from you in the near future? Uh, in the near future, hopefully I'll be participating in more movies with Ms. Ross. Um, and like, you know, I'm still going to pursue dancing and things like that. So. You know, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of me. Okay, okay. Uh, any plays? Uh, no, not since church. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, what you what you do plays now? I mean, since yeah, you got the bug do, of the movie now. I'll do plays. Like I said, there are a thousand people inside of me, and you know they all have a different personality. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can see myself doing that. Okay, you see yourself acting, doing plays. Right. Okay, but not right. You yeah. did that? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even like to write in school. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, you don't. Yeah, you didn't write there. No. You ain't want to do it in school. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. But uh, it's great you coming out. Uh, wish you success in the, in this movie and others to come. Um, and I'll be looking for you guys to uh, come back out and see me on some y'all doing. All right. Um, Hopefully we'll so, see you on the red yeah, carpet. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll be there. I, I, all I need is the invitation. I'll be there. All right. Yeah. But don't expect the invitation to get on the jet, though. Well, you know, I had to pay my own way now. I, oh, I'll be okay. there, though. I'll meet you there. I'm, I'm just saying that. I had to meet you there. Don't get mad if you come and come <laughs> get on the jet, man, because we're going to go. Yeah. yeah. But I can meet you there, though. You're going to meet us there. I can, I, hey, I can pay my... Say my, no more. I can meet you there all and right. uh, celebrate the success. All right. All right. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. All right. All right. What's going on, brother? Petro. What's going on? How you doing? All right. All right. Thank you for coming out to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, I got to ask you, are you from Memphis or where were you? Millington. Mentioned? Millington? Yeah. Uh, you just down, just, you know, down the road? <laughs> yeah. <It's> the Shelby <laughs> County. Shelby <laughs> County. You still, I mean, you, hey, same thing. Uh, man, um, how long have you been acting? Well, I've been doing stage plays since wow. I was like 16. Okay, okay. So uh, doing stage plays and actually going to the mainstream movie what kind of uh transition did that take for you the stage plays are more like precise okay stage plays are more precise movies you can play with a lot okay you can play with them 
Okay. But you can't do that with this stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how did you uh, get uh, cast for this uh, this role? The first way I'm playing talking about started off and playing talking about the sideline person. Okay. I started off like that, and then things happened, and Tish had called me up like, do you want a speaking role? I was like, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. It escalated from there. Yeah, she came to me, and I was like, this story you got, you know I believe in it, so let's do it. Okay, okay. Now, without giving too much, uh, your character. What, what? <laughs> you said, ooh, <laughs> you got a rough character you play, man. man. <laughs> the uh, best friend that's hard on his friend. Okay, okay, okay. I let him have it a few times. Okay. They're trying to straighten him out. Okay, I got you. I got you. See, y'all gonna make me, y'all gonna make me go by the movie ain't even out yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, thing is crazy because I'm pleading talking about my role, like, and pleading talking about the role and talking about that most dudes today would call you a traitor. Okay, you, okay. You weak, you a punk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you trying to tell him to leave the women alone. Okay, okay. I, I <laughs> say no more. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Would I do that in a very blunt way? Okay, okay. So you get prepared for this role. Uh, uh, did it take a lot to to get uh, to that, to that level? Just be you. Just oh, okay. <laughs> be me. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that was easily done. Very easy. Okay. Okay. Uh, stage plays. You've been doing it, like you said, quite some time. Yeah. Um, but to do a role, I actually have this particular role. What has this done for you? Uh, as pursuing your career uh, okay and talking about a couple of years ago i did my last stage play and i was like i'm done you're done with it okay i'm done with theater period okay i'm done and pleading time about the tish had got me back what i told her mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you brought that spark back in okay wow you that says a lot about her her character yeah okay i'm like you make me wanna go Pass this one move and keep going. Keep on going. Okay. Wow. Wow. Truly a blessing uh, uh, to have people like that in your life. Yeah. Uh, to get you back on something, a track where you enjoyed doing for so long. Yeah. And lost uh, uh, interest in. You know. She been a blessing to all of us. Okay. She. Yeah. Yeah. Something wrong with that. You know, we need people like that in our lives. You know. You know, it gives that spark and. Uh, uh, to uh, give us that opportunity uh, yeah. to go forward. Um, now, the spark is back. You yes. read it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. so what can we expect from you in the near future? Well, when we done with this movie, mm -hmm. we start in the next movie. Okay. I have a spot in it. Wow. I got a spot in it. Okay, okay. So... And after that, I plan on being in the rest of them, too. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Name it Clay. Name it Clay. Uh, now, let me ask you this. You did a lot of stage plays. Yeah. Uh, uh, Seems like you have a lot of experience in that. Uh, would you ever consider writing your own uh, stage play since you've done it so many years? Writing? No. Okay. I don't want to be a writer. Okay. You're not, you're not that type to be behind the scene. You're more... Nah. Okay, I'll, I want to be wherever the lights at. Okay, okay, you want to shine. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, uh, <laughs> so you got to be out there. That's why I like Tish so much. Okay, Tish like the right being the the shadows. Yeah, we got to shine for. Her. Okay, she do the writing, we gonna shine for. Her. Okay, now I'm looking forward to see you. Uh, do more material and more uh, movies, the whole nine, uh, because I, I'm I'm really uh, uh, feeling what you're saying. You know, you lost the passion for something, and then someone gave you that spark back, another opportunity. Uh, that's a blessing. Yeah. You know, I feel that, and uh, that, that's it's really a blessing. And I'm glad that you're able to get that spark back in your life. And I wish you success in the future. And I'm uh, looking to see great things. Uh, uh, in the future for you. 
All right. I appreciate you coming on, All stopping right. by hollering us. Right. And the next time I see you to be uh, at the movie theater. You'll have to pay to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your freebie right here. <laughs> <laughs>